안녕하세요 림페이씨 싱어포 남재입니다 <웃음> 네 안녕하세요 여러분들 So here I am in beautiful Istanbul A beautiful mosque here with a nice park Where a lot of locals just come and hang out Hang around all throughout the day Yeah some of these mosques have these very beautiful courtyards and parks That you can actually Like anyone can actually come in and uh, relax And walk your dog even You know so yeah, today I just want to talk about an issue uh, like all Singaporean men are very very concerned about Okay, the issue of reservists, yes Now, if you are a Singaporean lady um, and you want to work overseas or like you know you want to be like me You want to live overseas for like 10 years, 20 years, it's not a problem at all You just pack up and you just go However you live, however you're surviving, uh, it doesn't matter, okay as long as you can survive outside, you can stay as long as you want But not as a Singaporean man Why is that so? Because Singaporean men have the sacred duty of protecting the country So, uh, all the way up to 45 years old or like me as an officer in the military, 50 years old We're bound by what is called reservist Now what reservist essentially means is that every year You'll be called back to your army camp uh, or in my case Navy uh, to do all kinds of training so that means if you have, you have to go back every year uh, just to do those training how are you gonna be able to stay overseas for long term like me okay so basically this is what happens now um, if you are a Singaporean man and you're still under reservist and you want to li live overseas for a long term basically you can by either having a work permit or student pass in the country it means Basically, you must be either working or studying in a foreign country Basically, you need to have a valid reason why you must be in a foreign country If you have that valid reason, then you don't have to go back for reservists Then every year, basically what you do is you go onto that online portal thing And then you just submit submit the, uh, the, your proof, you know Just show your, visa, just show your work, work permit or your visa Or your letter from your company Or your... your uh, certification of studentship in whatever university and then and then they will take you off the list for the for the for uh, for, for that period okay so basically for me throughout my ten, I, I've been living overseas for 18 years uh, first 10 years in China I was on work permit I was actually under work permit with uh, Ch China's biggest financial portal uh, Hershin.com as they are uh, special foreign investment expert where I go, go around China uh, to give investment talks so I don't actually really have to go to a, off, do a 9 to 5 job at all no? I just basically I do probably like one talk a year only <laughs> and every year I go to one city and do one talk <laughs> it's, it's a very easy job but not but not a job that any simply anyone can get you know then uh, for my five years in Korea, I was a student with Hanyang University, okay? And then uh, that period overlays with my period in uh, uh, in New York, where me and Limbu was uh, relocating to New York uh, and getting my uh, US green card. And then um, here in Turkey, I've been here for one year. Um, I'm here as a Turkey long-term residence pass uh, with uh, consulting work uh, with a local company so I, I submit all the papers from the company to Mindev right so yeah um, th there's no kind of like if you're a Singaporean man you you can't you, you can't just stay out for as long as you like in fact even if you have a green card it doesn't matter even if like me I have a US green card I still have to come back to Singapore uh, for reserve if I'm not either working or studying or hospitalized in that country yes yes it's Green, even green card do not exempt you from your reserves. Okay, you you are only exempted if you if you give out your Singapore passport. All right. So now the thing is, um, does it make sense? Actually, it does make a lot of sense because why? Because, um, like look, if you want to be living in a diff a foreign country, you have to survive, right? So you have to find a job, right? So either way, you should be under a uh, work permit. Or if you you already have a shitload of money and you just want to be in that country, then go learn the language or or, or study something in the country. You know, 
it makes your life worthwhile, give you more interaction with the real society and the real world of that country. Uh, that's how I got so deep into Korea because I studied in Korea for five years as a student, right, in, uh, in Hanyang University, right? So, but the bad news is this, the by inference, this also means that if you are a kick-ass digital nomad, that you make your money solely online, like actually that's, that's what I do, you know, then you have no choice. You, you cannot just pack up and go. No matter how much you're making online, you, you, can, you simply cannot just go to a country and stay long term. Okay, not like the other digital for, uh, nomads around the world because you are a Singaporean man, okay, you have to protect the country. So, um, as a digital nomad, if you are making a shitload of money, I would say the best choice for you is to go and, and do, do a study. Do, go engage yourself in a university in the country that you want to live in, you know, for, for a few years. Alright, and that for however long you might want to live in the country. And then the, the, the other thing is, um, also, it, this also means that as a Singaporean man with ambitions to live overseas, to leave Singapore and create a new life overseas, honestly, really study hard. I know a lot of you who keeps talking about, I want to leave Singapore, you are fed up with the education system and everything and you just don't, you don't even want to study hard, yes or no. But I'm telling you, you better, if you really want to leave the country, you better study hard. I think minimum you should get a bachelor's degree. Minimum. Because right now, in most countries in the world, they, they accept only minimum bachelor's degree for, for whatever job you're looking for, okay? So without that, without that degree, you can't even get a proper job overseas and therefore you can't even build a new life outside of Singapore, okay? That is the harsh truth. Better, better wake the f up, you know? <laughs> if you want that education matters, alright? In fact, right now, if you want to... To, to, to work in even in China right now China's foreign policy is that um, for so-called foreign talents need to have at least a master's degree not even a bachelor's degree anymore so right now if you only have a bachelor's degree forget China you can't even live long term in China anymore yeah that's the harsh truth right so yeah um, that's how as a Singaporean man uh, you can stay long term overseas without worrying about reservists right so, yeah, if you have any questions for me, please post in the comments below. Annyeong!